Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Explorer. In this video, I'm going to solve and find the value of this nice and interesting simplification math problem, which is 2 raised to power 15 plus 2 raised to power 12 plus 2 raised to power 9 plus 2 raised to power 6 plus 2 raised to power 3. Now, how can we solve this exponential and simplification math problem? Here, first of all, we will factorize the power of these four terms. So here we can factorize these powers as 2 raised to power 15 can be written as 3 times 5 plus this will become 2 raised to power 3 times 4 plus we can write 2 raised to power 9 is 3 times 3 plus 2 raised to power 6 but 6 can be written as 3 times 2 plus 2 raised to power 3 will be the same. Now here in the first part terms we will use exponential math property. So here we will use this one exponential math property in the first four terms. So that exponential property is we can write r s to power m times n s r s to power m whole s to power n. So using this exponential math property here this equation will become this implies this will become 2 raised to power 3 whole s to power 5 plus this will become 2 raised to power 3 whole raised to power 4 plus 2 raised to power 3 whole raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 3 whole raised to power 2 plus 2 raised to power 3. Now what we will do here? Here we will try to find the value of 2 raised to power 3. So therefore the value of 2 raised to power 3 is 2 raised to power 3 means we need to multiply 2 3 times so 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so this will become 8 so here we will replace 2 raised to power 3 in all the terms by 8 so here this equation will become this implies this will become 8 raised to power 5 plus 8 raised to power 4 plus 8 raised to power 3 plus 8 raised to power 2 plus 8 Next, we will try to make the power of these two bases same and also the power of these two numbers the same. So, for that, here we can write at rest to power 5 is 4 plus 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus at rest to power 4 plus here we can write at rest to power 3 is 3 can be written as 2 plus 1 plus at rest to power 2 plus 8. Now here in these two terms, in these two numbers, we will use another exponential math property. So here we will use this exponential math property, a raised to power m plus n, which can also be written as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. So using this exponential math property here, these two terms will become, this implies, this will become a raised to power 4 times a raised to power 1 plus this will become at rest to power 4 will be the same plus this will become at rest to power 2 times at rest to power 1 plus at rest to power 2 plus a now here in these two terms this at rest to power 4 is same common and also in these two terms at rest to power 2 is common so let us take out at rest to power 4 common from the first two terms this will become 8 plus here 1 will be left plus let us take at rest to power 2 comma from these two terms so this will become at rest to power 1 which is simply 8 plus here only 1 will be left plus 8 now here 8 plus 1 is 9 so there is 9 and there is also 9 so we will take this 9 comma from these two terms so this will become taking 9 comma so this will become at rest to power 4 plus here at rest to power 2 is left plus this one 8. Now next we can write this at rest to power 4 as this implies 9 times we can write this at rest to power 4 as at rest to power 2 times at rest to power 2 plus at rest to power 2 plus 8. If we multiply these two numbers so it will give him at rest to power 4 this is because here the bases are same so we can add the powers. Now we will take at rest to power 2 common from these two terms inside the parenthesis. So let us take out 9 times 
let us take out at raised to power 2 common so here at raised to power 2 is left plus here only 1 is left plus this one a what is the value of at raised to power 2 the value of at raised to power 2 is a time at 64 so here you will replace this at raised to power 4 with 64 in both the terms so this will become 9 times at raised to power 4 is 64 times at raised to power 4 is 64 plus 1 brace is close plus 8 now next here this is 65 so this will become 9 times here we can write this 64 as 60 plus 4 and here 64 plus 1 is 65 but we can write this 65 as 60 plus 5 plus 8 now here first we multiply these numbers with each other so here first we multiply this 60 with these two numbers first with 60 and then with 5 and then we multiply 4 with 60 and 5 so just do these multiplications here this will become 9 times 60 times 60 is 60 square plus 60 times 5 60 times 5 plus now we will multiply 4 with these two numbers so this will become 4 times 60 plus 4 times 5 is 20 plus 8 now let us simplify these numbers inside the parentheses so this will become 9 times here 6 square is 36 and this 0 will become double so this will become 3600 5 times 0 is 0 5 times 6 is 30 so this will become 300 plus 4 times 0 is 0 4 times 6 is 24 so this will become 240 plus 20 plus 8 here first we will add these four numbers and then we multiply the result with 9 so this will become here 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0, plus 0 is 0 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 0 plus 0 is 6 no 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 6 is 11 so 1 1 will be carried to this number so 3 plus 1 is 4 so here the addition of these four numbers gives him 4160 plus 8 now here first we multiply this 9 with this number and then we will add the result with 8 so let's multiply 9 inside this parenthesis so here 9 times 0 is 0 9 times 6 is 54 so 4 5 will be carried 9 times 1 is 9 9 plus 5 is 14 so 4 1 will be carried 9 times 4 is 36, 36 plus 1 is 37 plus 8. Now here we will add these two numbers. So here we will add this 8 to the 1's digit. So we will add this 8 to 0. So this will give him our final answer which is 37,448. So finally 37,448 is our answer and value of this nice and interesting simplification math problem.